All right, Shalom. Shalom. This is Brothers from the GMS North Carolina. Came back with another video. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh Kadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great most of teaching us to warrant percent truth according to the Bible rule well, in peace and blessings, so for elect of the nation of Israel, today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, me and the brother, um, the come is just going to get into a, a simple lesson, you know, a very important lesson, you know, uh, that the Lord is speaking through men down here on this earth, you know, those average guys that you see out there on the, um, uh, on the highways and byways, you know, playing dress up as the scoffers like to say, wearing shower curtains, you know, wearing dresses, you know, as the mockers and scoffers like to say, well, those humble men, the Lord is actually speaking through them, you know. And the Lord is portraying his message through these men on the earth, giving you warning, you know, telling you the things that are about to befall the earth and telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans to repent and to turn back before it's too late. That's right. This is Amos chapter three, verse seven. Surely the Lord God, Yahweh Bashem Ashai, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophet so it's very clear the lord you know he's not going to get off his heavenly throne and come down and speak unto you so-called negro latinos and native americans look when lord yahweh was on the scene the lord the heavenly father saying his only begotten son you know and they wouldn't listen to him you know so how much more are they not going to listen to us in these days you know but at the end of the day you got we are here to tell you that the lord is speaking through us and that if you reject these words that we that we are speaking, you're ultimately rejecting, rejecting, rejecting. You know, the heavenly Father. You know. Uh, read it one more time. You got precept. Mm -hmm. Okay, go and get your precept. Hebrews chapter one verse one. Mm -hmm. Yahweh by Shema Shai, who has at sun dry times, and in diverse manners. Yeah, different times and in different manners. You know, go ahead. Spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets spake you know in the ancient times you know unto our forefathers by the prophets by his prophets that he set up you know that he have chosen to the foundation of the earth to go portray his message you know a prophet what's the duty of a prophet you know uh to prophesy to tell you the things that are going to happen before they happen you know the testimony of Yahweh Shai being the spirit of prophecy you know, so the true men of the Lord, you know, the men that were actually sent by Yahweh by Shema Shai, they're going to be speaking prophecy. And not only that, the words that they speak are going to come to pass. Why? Because it's the will of the Heavenly Father. That's right. Get um, Luke 10 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, this St. Luke chapter 10. Verse 16. He that hear of you, hear of me. So this is written in red. It says, Lord Yahweh is speaking. He's making it very clear. You know, if you hear, he that hear of uh, us, you know, because that's who the Lord is talking to his disciples. You know, he that hears us when we go on the highways and byways and we give our people warning. We tell them the judgments of Yahweh Shemel Shai that if they continue in their wickedness, continue getting tattoos you know, uh, despising, you know, you know, the orders that Yahweh Shema Shai have given, you know, uh, you know, uh, no uh, eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, no smoking weed, you know, committing adultery, mm -hmm. what, um, that you're going to be destroyed, and it's as if the Lord Yahweh Shai himself said it, you know, go ahead. St. Luke 10 to 16, he that hear of you, hear of me so if you hear our words you take heed to the message you know you repent you know you're not repenting unto men you're not being a man pleaser you're uh doing that which is well pleasing to y'all by shema okay and he that despises you despises me and that word despise means to hate so if you try to come up against these words you know you're not coming up against uh us you know like it tells you in acts 5 and 38, you know, refrain from these men and let them alone for their counsel or their work be of men. It shall come to naught, but, but be of the most high. You cannot overthrow at least happily. You be willing to fight against the most high, you know. So our people are fighting against the most high, their maker, the creator. It's not going to go well with them. Go ahead. And he that despises me despises him that sent me. So 
if you despise us, you're despising Lori Howishai. And at the end of the day, who are you truly despising? Um, the Heavenly Father, you know? And nothing ever goes well for those who hate the Lord. It tells you in Proverbs, all those that hate me love death, you know? You hating this instruction, you hating this wisdom that the Lord has given us, which is our wisdom in the sight of the nation, which gives us life, you know, following these ways, you love death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Luke 1 and 70, yep. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the Lord have always been speaking through his holy prophet since the world began. Nothing's changed, you know. It's 2019, it's 2020, Slakia. Yeah. A new day in the earth, you know, things have changed. No, nothing has changed. The Lord is still speaking through men on the earth, and the Lord's always going to be, uh, you know, that's how the Lord is doing it in these times. The Lord is speaking through his men. Uh -huh. Get on um, 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. Uh, I was just thinking that's the spirit. Yeah, yep. You know, very um, simple lesson. So, you know, when. Uh, even uh, amongst you can't forget that when uh, brothers amongst your camps or when the apostles and elders you have to consider that the Lord the Lord is speaking through this men to tell you something you know that's why the scripture said what to seek counsel when when thou makest a decision mm -hmm. you know see what the Lord has to say Se it? second Edris 15 and 1 behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy see look the Lord is commanding the prophet uh, 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 Ezra to go and to speak into the ears of his people. You know, the Lord then come down Himself to speak unto him. He commanded his servant, you know, his the prophet Ezra to go and to speak in his people. It's that simple. Go ahead. And he, I'm sorry. He said to the words of prophecy to prophesy unto them, tell them that go and warn my people the things that are going to happen before they happen. Go ahead. Which I will put in thy mouth, says Yahabashim Asha. So. The Lord has put his words in the prophet Ezra's mouth, just like the Lord has put his words in our mouths, you know? And that's why we're able to break down these scriptures, you know? Because why? We have been given those secrets. Go ahead. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, mm -hmm. for they are faithful and true. Get Ezekiel 3, 17. Oh, you start 4, or is it 4 or 7? And then jump down to 17, I believe there's 4, you know? It says, and cause them to be written in the paper, for the, for they are faithful and true. So the words which the true prophets of the Lord are speaking are faithful and true. You can bet your last dollar that they are going to come to pass, you know? They are most definitely going to come to pass. You know, that's why it's it will be wise that they key to what to, to what the men are truly saying. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go. Get thee unto the house of Israel mm -hmm. and speak with my words unto them. Yeah, so once again, those guys out there on the highways and byways, the men of the Lord, you know, I say the men of Great Millstone, you know, primarily, because I can't speak for these other camps. We're not around these other men, you know, but primarily the men of Great Millstone, you know, the Lord is speaking through them. Why? Because when we go out there on the highways and byways and speak, what we we break down the scriptures precept upon precept here a little and there a little you know we come right out of the scriptures you know if a man has a question what we do we go straight to the scriptures you know read one more time and then go to ezekiel 3 and 17. okay this is ezekiel chapter 3 verse 4 and he said unto me son of man go get thee unto the house of israel mm -hmm. and speak with my words unto them yeah speak with my words unto them you know it's that simple you know Speak with the Lord's words unto them. Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And a duty of a watchman, you know, you have the movie Troy. You know, if brothers have seen it, you know, with Brad Pitt. You know, if you have the watchman, what are they doing? They stood upon their tower, you know, and then when they seen the enemies coming in, you know, by way of ships... You know they blew the trumpet and they got the city ready you know so that's what we're doing we know we're blowing the trumpet to get all ready uh for the battle for this spiritual fight that's going on you know to prepare themselves for the time of jacob's trouble that's coming you know uh telling you that your enemy wants to destroy you your enemy 
being the so-called white man, he has a plan to eradicate you off the face of the earth. And the only way you're going to be protected is to have the Lord on your side, to have Yahweh by Shema Shai as your defense. Okay? Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Yeah, so the Lord made us watchmen. Therefore, we, we give you the warning. You know, we tell you of the pending danger that's to come upon the earth. You know? You got one more precept? Yeah, just one more. Okay. First Samuel chapter nine, verse nine. Mm -hmm. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High Yahweh, thus he spake. If I may say, if you read up, you know, read this account, you have the King Saul. You know, yeah, you, know, you have King Saul. You know, he was going to, he had to go see the prophets. You know, he understood. You know that he had to go in order to in, to understand what the Most High wanted. You know, he had, you know, he had a situation going on, you know, he needed some answers, you know, he wanted to get uh, the answers from the most high, but what he understood that he had to go see the prophets, you know, this is very, this was very known knowledge amongst our people back then, you know, but from us discontinue from our heritage, you know, you know, and, you know, basically, you know, learning everything new again on this side, you know, we had, we lost that understanding. Okay. First Sam is nine and nine. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of Yahweh, thus he spake, mm -hmm. Come and let us go to the seer. Okay. For he that is now called a prophet was so like you, was before time called a seer. Yep. So if you wanted to inquire, get Exodus 4 and 11, and we'll close out on that. Um, if you wanted to inquire anything of the Lord, if you wanted to know anything that the Lord thought or what, what was the Lord's, uh, uh, you know, what he wanted to be done, you know, in a situation, you had to go to the prophets, you know, uh -huh. just like you had Rebecca, you know, uh, what she was bearing, you yeah, know, yeah. what did she do? She went to the Lord, but really she went to a prophet, you uh -huh. know, and they told her that two nations are in thy womb and two men or people shall be separated from thy bowels, you know? You got it. Verse 11 and verse 4. Um, 4 and 11. 4 and 11, God. This is Exodus chapter 4, verse 11. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashemasha, said unto him, Who have made man's mouth? Mm hmm. Or who maketh the dumb or, or deaf? Good. Or the seen? Mm hmm. Or the blind? Have not I? Yahweh Bash mm -hmm. Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, uh -huh. and will teach thee what thou shalt say. Yeah, so the Lord is with us, you know. When we do these lessons, we go on the highways and byways. You know, it's not really us that's speaking. Really, the Holy Spirit takes over, you know. You know, the Lord, you know, um, you know, not to go too deep with it. You know, I'm not going to go too deep with it. You know, the Lord has this spirit take over, you know. And um, the Lord is basically uh, telling us what to say, you know, and we say those things, you know, it's not us speaking. It's not because we're great, eloquent speakers, you know, or, you know, it's really the Lord. This is the Lord's show and the Lord speaking through his men down here on this earth, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's straight to the point. You know, we just bring out a couple of scriptures, like the Lord speaking to, through these men. So what, when they tell you that death and destruction is coming and you see death and destruction on the rise, you got to consider that the Lord is saying these things. Get one last scripture and we'll close out. Job 14 and 5. Yep. I'm 13. Uh, Job 13 and 5, I believe. Um, It's Job. It's like, yeah. It's not Job 13 and 5. It's Job 33 and 14. I don't know why I said that. It's like, yeah. Job 33 and 14. Mm -hmm. Yep. Job 33 and 14. For Yahweh speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it, perceiveth it not. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, we have to perceive that, you know, this warning that's going out is from the heavens, you know, and that we have to take this thing seriously, you know. The Most High speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not, you know. You know, but, you know, hey, we, we gave you the warning. We're telling you to understand that these are the words of the Lord. And you got to repent. Turn back to the God of the Bible before it's all too late. You know? 
it's that simple, you know. You got any closing precepts or yeah. anything? Kind of, you know, Lord's willing, your brothers were edifying, edified through, uh, through the spirit and pride of God by Shema Shai. You know, uh, the Lord speaking through men once again, you know, take heed to the warning. There's plenty more scriptures, you know, you can get 1 Thessalonians 4 and 8, you know. But, you know, for time's sake, we're just going to go in the lesson. For that, we give all praise on their glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone of teaching us to 100% truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings so reflect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.